Ocean's Aquarium, Cape Town, the Predator Exhibit, where all creatures wisely know and keep their place, except one, whose husband Sean seemed very obliging when asked to drop his wife in a shark tank. Simply sitting in a wheelchair just never sat well with this extraordinary 29-year-old. Hi, I'm Justine Asher. I've been diving for the past eight years. Before my accident, you wouldn't catch me knee-deep in water. And now I'm about to dive with sharks. The most difficult part is getting dressed. Maybe not for me, but for the person that's dressing me. It's very difficult. The equipment for me differs to the, able, the equipment that the able body would use. Because first of all, I don't wear any flippers. And um, I need to wear ankle weights to keep my legs down. And I have a zip that comes all the way up to make it easier to put the suit on. As long as no other woman's got the same wetsuit, that would be disaster. Suddenly though, Justine and specialist dive master Mark were in the deep end. Time to sink or swim. Because I have no use of my legs, I utilize my arms to swim. So I swim breaststroke, which sort of propels me forward. Um, I had a little bit of a problem in the tank. That was when the sharks came by and, and Mark sort of like grabbed my arms and put them to my side and I thought, okay, well, better keep them in. Just now I'm sort of minus the arm. Ragged tooth female Maxine might be excused a bite, having been caught in stray spy nets and buckied here by fishermen. But Justine was in her element. Time to rhyme in sign. Everything okay? Thought I'd stroke a ray. I never felt threatened. The, the most scary part, part was sitting above the water and not knowing what to expect when I'm, once I'm underneath. I was busy psyching myself out when I was hovering above the water. I was thinking, am I going to come out of this alive? But once I was underneath, this overwhelming sense of peace just sort of poured over me. Under the water, I feel absolutely free. There's no boundaries, nothing restricting my body, nothing stopping or preventing me from moving the way I want to move and where I want to move. And I'm not anchored down to a wheelchair. I'm free, like a bird. really out of this out of this world it's amazing being there done that got the t-shirt and a kiss for swimming beauty from her prince it was a well-deserved kiss <laughs> my disability has enabled me to live life to the fullest and grasp the many opportunities that present themselves to me in fact I do more now than what I did before my accident. The general wisdom is that sharks need to keep moving or they'll die. We learn from the experts that that's a fallacy. For sharks perhaps, but humans? Maybe we need to keep moving whichever way we can to know we're alive. <laughs>